Now joined by TSN analyst Ray Ferraro. So Ray, over the last week, we've seen some Leafs step up and say things about their team. You know, Austin Matthews said they quit in that Tampa Bay game in the third period. And then even Garrett Sparks, the backup goalie, saying there needs to be more emotion. What do you think of that sort of thing? Well, I, I guess it's okay that they want to speak out publicly, but I, I don't think publicly flogging yourself serves any purpose. I mean, it's one thing to be disappointed, and they should be because they had a, a rotten week in the, in the middle or the late part of a long season. However, to, to do it publicly just brings more attention to yourselves. I think the way to go at it is to, is to say we played poorly and we got to be better. We, we know we're better than this. We haven't played well enough. For the people that say, oh, at least they're being accountable, you only have to be accountable to the people that are in the room with you and to your coaching staff. That's it. And the Leafs need to, in my opinion, keep that more internal. There's no use making something bigger out of a three-game flop. So defense is the biggest issue. Yeah. So many goals allowed. 20, <laughs> 23 yeah. in four games. What's the biggest concern you have? Well, I, I guess the concern would be that they've lost the willingness and commitment to, to play without the puck because you can score and outscore a lot of your mistakes if you're a team as talented as the Leafs, but you can't outscore them all. We'll start with the face-off stuff, and Austin Matthews had a tough, uh, a tough game against Philadelphia. He loses one clean to Voracek. That's going to happen. What concerns me is that there was confusion between the two guys as to who is supposed to get out to Voracek. In the second period, he loses another one. That's more of a tied draw, though, but Nylander loses that puck battle, and then he gets shielded away from the puck and when he gets shielded away from it there's nobody to help that has to be done better that can be corrected with communication they also started to turn the puck over in the middle of the ice we saw the man advantage breaks against Ottawa on Saturday night if you look at the top of the frames you'll see the forward coming back just a little bit too late Mike Babcock talked about their F3 the high guy dives into the play too early the defense dive into the play, you give up man advantage breaks. So to me, these are fixable problems. It's not like the team isn't good enough. The team is good enough to be much better than they've been in the last week. The amazing thing is that all the damages come pretty much at even strength. Yes. And they were the best team in the NHL before this in even strength, five-on-five five goal differential.